Hi, I'm Aaron Loris, Vice President of Loris Recycle. We're a proud local company with global standards, and we're changing the way people recycle in Saskatchewan. At Loris, we believe it's up to all of us to protect and preserve the environment. We believe in building sustainable communities for your family and ours. The future is all about managing our resources, and that's why we've made it our business. Our single stream sorting facility is state of the art and one of only a few in North America. So how does it work? Basically, we take all the materials people put in their blue bins and we sort them by size, weight, and type. Then we send those sorted materials to recycling companies to be remade into new products. So follow along as we show you our process, from your home to our sorting facility to the recycling plants. At Loris Recycle, we use a single stream process. Single stream means we receive approved recyclables in one bin and then separate them into marketable commodities. Our single stream process is the easiest, most convenient and most affordable recycling program in Saskatchewan. We accept a large variety of beverage containers such as pop bottles, milk jugs, juice boxes, etc. As well as household tin and aluminum including soft drink cans, tin cans, aluminum foil and trays. We also take a variety of household plastics, such as laundry detergent jugs, food containers, and plastic trays. And various other paper products, including newspaper, cardboard, cereal boxes, phone books, etc. You can find a complete list of materials on our website at loris.ca. We pick up recycling from blue bins at our customers' homes and businesses with our signature red trucks and bring it to our provincial sorting facility in Saskatoon. From the time recyclable materials enter our facility, they move along a path of conveyor belts where machines sort material and people provide quality control. This is how it works. First, the truck unloads all the materials collected onto the tipping floor. Then, a front-end loader puts the materials into a large hopper with a moving floor. The floor feeds the recycling onto the conveyor belt and into our sorting line. The sorting process has begun. To sort the materials, we use the physical characteristics of the items, their size, weight and shape, to help us. The process uses both state-of-the-art equipment and a dedicated team of highly trained people. As the materials move along the conveyor belt, they are inspected by Loris employees. The first step is to remove items that are difficult to handle. Our people are highly skilled, and they have to be. The conveyor belt moves at speeds of up to 114 meters per minute. Every person on our line is able to remove at least 60 items per minute. That's less than one second per item. At the same time, our employees remove plastic bags so they can be sucked up by a powerful vacuum. They're baled and then shipped off for recycling. The remaining materials are streamed over a set of star-shaped wheels designed to separate out the cardboard. This can be done because cardboard is light and large enough, so it floats on top. The heavier, smaller items fall through the gaps onto another conveyor belt. These items include newspaper, aluminum, tin and plastic. After the cardboard has been removed, it's then passed to a quality control station on its way to be baled. A second set of star wheels separates out the paper by floating it over the top of the rest of the items. Most of the paper is separated by the stars and channeled to a quality control station. Any remaining paper is captured by a high-powered suction belt called a paper magnet and diverted to a quality control station. The heavier materials, such as tin cans and plastic containers, fall to a conveyor below the paper magnet and continue on their processing journey. After quality control, the paper is dropped onto the facility's main floor. A front-end loader picks it up and moves it onto the baler conveyor belt. The paper is channeled into the baler, where it's compacted into large bales and then bound together. Meanwhile, on the main conveyor, the remaining recyclables are still being sorted. Recyclables pass under a strong metal magnet which removes all the tin and ferrous metals, which go off to be baled. As we near the end of the sorting process, the plastic bottles are sorted by two machines called T-TECs. The T-TECs use infrared technology to identify types of plastic. 
The first machine finds number three to seven plastics and uses puffs of air to separate them from the stream and sort them into bins. The second machine sorts number one clear plastic and aluminum products. At the end of the line, the materials have been separated and baled. Loris ships these bales to different manufacturers to be remade into new products. This last conveyor belt shows what's left over from all the recyclables. These materials are too small to capture mechanically, and as you can see, there isn't much. Loris is able to capture and recycle an average of 98% of all the material that comes through our doors. Here's how it all adds up. By our calculations, one bale of material is equal to about 50 blue bins. On an average pickup day, we bring in around 7,200 bins. That's equal to 130 bales. When we ship the materials to recycling plants, we can fit about 2,000 households worth of recyclables onto one shipping trailer. One loaded trailer weighs 45,000 pounds. That's as much as three African elephants. Every week, we ship thousands of tons of baled recyclables for remanufacture into new products. When you put all these numbers together, you can see we're doing our part to create a more sustainable world. Our single stream system involves cutting edge technology and highly trained people. Each part is very important to our process and is helping us to be as efficient as we can. Using one of the most advanced systems in the world, we're diverting over 80,000 tons of reusable resources from landfills every year. Thanks for joining us. Every day, in every neighborhood, we're living up to our commitment to saving thousands of tons of material from the landfill. It's our way of making the environment our business.